What is up and welcome to another edition of Worth a Watch with me, Anthony Flotis. Uh, this is going to be a Blu-ray close-up, as you can see here. I'm holding the Captain America, the Winter Soldier Steelbook. Now, um, again, I bitch and moan about Best Buy so much lately, it's not even funny. And I don't know if it's to blame on the shipments by Marvel, Disney, whoever ships these out. Or if it's the handling care of Best Buy. I don't know who to blame on this one. But I went. This time I wasn't going to miss my opportunity like what I did with the Thor Steelbook. Um, long story short, I get there at 10 a.m. when they first open. And there, there's quite a few people looking around at these steelbooks and stuff. And there was only about 10 or 15 left. And this is already at 10 a.m. when they first open. As you can see, this is a perfectly okay steelbook. But I don't know how the shipment works. This is why I don't care for seal books too, too often unless they're really amazing like this one. The spines were either just ever so slightly warped, like a little rainbow type deal right there, kind of like that. Or just right down the middle, just like a fucking soda can. It's awful how the merchandise is treated like that shitty when it comes to the companies that know people are wanting these items and they're going to throw out 25 bucks for this because it was 24.99 technically almost 30 by the after tax which is of course ridiculous but as a collector and many people who love marvel films it doesn't matter we will dish out the money but whoever's fault that one is just like every other seal book just scratched bent crunched dented and even mine didn't walk away with a dent. I mean, I didn't even see it, of course, due to the fact is that the backward card here blocks everything. So unfortunately, uh, Steelbook aficionados out there or anyone trying to hunt this one down, be very, very careful. Um, it's unfortunate that, yeah, we can't just go back and return it when, when they're really fucked up. Like the several limited edition releases that are out there, like the Paramount release Steelbooks that were put out this past week or this weekend. This, we wouldn't have a shot to return at all. So once they're gone, they're gone. Everyone's going to be hunting this movie down today and the rest of the week if you're lucky to even find it by the end of the week. Or by the end of today. Because like I said, there was only about 15 of these left. And it was 10 in the morning when they first fucking opened. So anyways, that's the backer card with all the special features before I keep ranting. A lot of cool stuff on the front line, inside look at Captain America's Battlegrounds, on set with Anthony Mackie, uh, Steve Rogers Notebook, on audio commentaries, gag reel and deleted scenes. Got some cool still shots from the movie right there. And the inside contents are of course just the Blu-ray discs. There's no DVD, which I don't mind very much. Got the Blu-ray disc and, well, 3D and regular, so... The discs were perfectly fine. That's, I guess, the main thing right there. And then, of course, you have your digital copy and this random flyer stuff. And now this is where I have an issue with my steelbook. For those of you out there who may feel my pain, I don't know. It's perfectly fine. It's a nice matted finish. Captain America is embossed. Very glo glossy matted. I don't know how you call it. And that is just beautiful. I love just these little banners that are sl slit right there I mean good god that's a beautifully matted steel book I, I don't know if this one or the Thor steel book is better but I'm digging this one I, I really hope to hunt the Thor steel book one day but holy shit this is amazing and then inside that is just fucking awesome you got the Winter Soldier just being badass and him taking down the entire shield jet or aircraft, whatever this is called. But here's my unfortunate issue is, I don't know if I can get it in the light here. Um, son of a bitch. Yep, I don't think I can get it. Right there. There's the nasty little dent that was hiding from me. I couldn't see it. And then here, I don't know if there's an often a problem with steelbooks like this, but up here, it's kind of loose. I can feel the artwork kind of loose, and I don't know if there's a way to fix that. I tried pr pressing this downward. Maybe there's a little hinge that connects the plastic with the, with the steel or aluminum, whatever this is. 
um, I'm assuming steel. <laughs> um, maybe there's a loose hinge. I tried, like, I compared it with another steel, few steel books, and none of them are like this. So, yeah, I can feel it move. I don't know if you can see it on the camera right there. It moves a little bit. But considering what other nastiness was going on with a lot of the steel books out there that were on the shelves, completely torn to bits and scraped to hell, I would take loose artwork and a tiny, insignificant little dent over the terrible crushed bent spines and everything else so enough of my ranting the steelbook is a fucking amazing steelbook it's arguably one of the best marvel steelbooks ever made thus far if there i don't know what will be come of the um guardians of the galaxy i cannot wait if there's an amazing steelbook something like this i will be getting that and if there's an awesome target exclusive maybe because right now there is the Target exclusive bonus disc, I think. And then there is also um, the Walmart editions, uh, which I say editions because there is basically, um, there is these banners, these same photo shots here. There's none of Robert Redford here, but there is one of Captain America. I don't know if he's in this pose, but Captain America, Falcon, Nick Fury, and Black Widow and the Winter Soldier, I believe, as well. Or I don't know if there's a Nick Fury one. But either way, there is, they're very similar to these. That's the variant slip-covered editions. Um, if you purchase the 3D Blu-ray combo pack. So that's at Walmart. And then the Target edition is just the same artwork, but with just a bonus disc or bonus features added onto it. But this was the Best Buy version. Pick it up at your own risk. This is why I don't care for Steelbooks, but for one that is... Just as beautiful as this one. It's a work of art to me at least. And I definitely recommend picking it up. If you can hunt down one that isn't beat to shit. So um, thank you so much for watching this up close. And personal look of Captain America the Winter Soldier Blu-ray Steelbook. The Best Buy exclusive. So feel free to comment below. And like and all that other good stuff in between. So until next time. I'm Anthony Flores. And uh, have a good day.